my dear brother and my dear sister hubbu dunya ra'su kulli khati'ah the love of dunya subhanallah this topic brothers is scary because all of us are included no one is safe except those whom Allah saved the love of dunya is the cause of all evil why did he kill he killed because of dunya why is he envying his brother because of dunya why is he committing shirk because of dunya why is he doing what Allah prohibited zina because of dunya why is he consuming riba because of dunya why 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 all because of dunya what is dunya what is this worldly life listen to Allah Allah is going to define this worldly life to you and I so we can think and then choose whichever one we want Allah said in Surah Ali Imran this is dunya this is dunya every soul shall taste death you will be paid in full the day of judgment whoever is spared from the hellfire and admitted into the paradise he is the victor he is victorious he has won this is life is an illusory enjoyment illusion delusion my dear brother and my dear sister the love of dunya this topic brothers is scary because all of us are included no one is safe except those whom Allah saved the love of dunya is the cause of all evil why did he kill he killed because of dunya why is he envying his brother because of dunya why is he committing shirk because of dunya why is he doing what allah prohibited zina because of dunya why is he consuming riba because of dunya why 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 all because of dunya all because of dunya the love of dunya is the cause of all the inhumanity that you see in life today the love of dunya is the cause of all the brutality that you see in life today the love of dunya is the cause of all the wrongdoing that you see in life today the love of dunya is the cause of all the evil doing you see in life today the love of dunya is the cause of all the ferocity you see in life today the love of dunya is the cause of all the evil you see in life today the love of dunya the love of dunya brothers and sisters in faith is a disease 
that is hunting, that is disturbing all of us. All of us. Except for few. May Allah guide us. The love of dunya. Brothers, before you love the dunya, before preferring the dunya, now let's please look, let's analyze the reality of dunya. Hakikatu dunya. What is dunya? What is this worldly life? Listen to Allah. Allah is going to define this worldly life to you and I so we can think and then choose whichever one we want. Allah said in Surah Al Imran, this is dunya this is dunya every soul shall taste death you will be paid in full the day of judgment whoever is spared from the hellfire and admitted into the paradise he is the victor he is victorious he has won this is life Illa mata'ul is an illusory enjoyment, illusion, delusion. Hold that for me. Wamal hayatu dunya illa mata'ul guru. Go to Surah Al An'am. Allah said, Wamal hayatu dunya illa la'ibun wa lahu. This worldly life is nothing but a play, an amusement. But the hereafter, the home of the hereafter, is the best. خير للذين يتقون for who for those who reason for those who are mindful of Allah for those who fear Allah they know this dunya is nothing. But over there is better. خير للذين يتقون for those who are mindful of Allah. May Allah make us among them. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, another one, Allah is saying, in Surah to Yunus, The parable, the example of this worldly life, كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَطَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ مِمَّا يَأْكُلُ النَّاسُ وَالْأَنْعَامِ 
just like the rain that you see when it comes down the food will come out that you and I eat you and the animal eat us and the animal eat Allah said Hatta idha akhodatil ardu zukhrufaha until when the earth looks its best was zayyanat and perfectly beautified وَظَنَّ أَهْلُهَا أَنَّهُمْ قَادِرُونَ عَلَيْهَا And the people think they have full control over it. أَتَاهَا أَمْرُنَا لَيْلًا أَوْ نَهَارًا Our command comes to eat night or day. فَجَعَلْنَاهَا هَصِيدًا The earth. Go to the farm. The farm that was flourishing. You see all the leaves, all the food. Allah said, when our command comes to eat, you will see it play. As if it had not flourished yesterday. At is as if it has not existed yesterday. Because the kaalam tagna bil ams. Kadalika no fossilul ayat li komi yetafakarun. This is life. You are living. I am living. One day, whatever enjoyment you are enjoying today, one day it will finish. One day. Whatever we have will go. Whatever we have will finish. It will fade away. It will be as if you never lived. Maybe your wife, you die, somebody will marry your wife. And one day your wife will forget about you. As if you never lived with her before. This is life. Whatever you have today, it will not last. One day it will end. This is dunya. Whatever you're feeling, if it's position that you think you are, money, whatever you have, it will go. Allah said, this is how we elaborate the, our verses, our sign, ayat, the signs for those who reason, for those who reflect, those who understand, if you know that life is nothing, this dunya is nothing, you will take life easy. The love of dunya will not be in your heart because you know this is nothing. Make sure dunya is in your hand, not in your heart. Brothers and sisters, listen to Allah again about dunya. Allah said, in Surah Al-Kahfi وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنْزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَطَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ فَأَصْبَى هَشِيمًا تَذْرُهُ الْرِيَاحِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقْتَدِرًا Give them the example. Explain to them the parable of this worldly life. كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ it is like the rain, the water that we send from the sky. And it is absorbed by the plant of the earth. Later, it turned into chaff. You see it blown away by the wind. Just take a leaf, brother. Take a leaf outside. Green leaf. Green leaf. What happened to the leaf after some time? It becomes yellow. It dries. When it dries, what happens when the wind comes? The wind will what? Will take it away. This is dunya. This is dunya. You are here. Please. Maybe you were in this country now almost 20 years, maybe. Please, I want you to go and look at the picture when you came to this country and now. Is it the same? Do you look the same? Uh, what happened? You are fading away. You look at your picture some years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years back. Now you look at you, you know. You know something has changed. You know something has changed. This is dunya. Your youth will never stay forever. So you keep going and going and going. And one day, the only thing you will hear is, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un Our brother so and so is gone Our sister so and so is gone So this is dunya 
This is dunya. Go to Surah Al-Ankabut. وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَهْوٌ وَلَعِبٌ وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah is telling, look, وَمَا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا You see, this life, this, this worldly life is nothing but amusement and play. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ But the hereafter, the home of the hereafter, لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ That is the real home. لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ If only they knew. So if you know that this life is nothing and you understand now the reality of this world My brothers and sisters in faith يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا مَتَاعُ My brother, my sister, my friend إِنَّمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا مَتَاعُ The enjoyment of this worldly life is little مَا مَا نَا مَتَاعُ مَتَاعُ أَيْ شَيْءٌ قَلِيلٌ ذاهبٌ زائلٌ What is the meaning of متاع؟ متاع شيءٌ قليل شيءٌ قليلٌ ذاهبٌ زائلٌ Something very little that will fade away that will perish This is متاع So Allah is defining this lovely this this worldly life the enjoyment in it as متاع Listen to Allah again in Surah Al-Hadid for you to see the picture of this worldly life. Please listen to this carefully. Allah said, You should know that indeed this worldly life is a play. It is an amusement. And boasting among you. And boasting. And boasting among you. And multiplication of wealth and children. I have this in the bank. I have that in the bank. I have ten children. I have eight children. I have that children. My, I have two wives. I have three wives. I have this. I have, a, I have this mansion. I built. I bought a big land in my country. I, bought, I built a big house. I did. This is, the, this is it. Listen to Allah. كَمَثَلِ غَيْثٍ أَعْجَبَ الْكُفَّارَ نَبَاتُ ثُمَّ يَهِيجُ فَتَرَهُ مُصْفَرًا ثُمَّ يَكُونُ حُطَامًا It is just like the rain. When it hits the ground, then the food come out. You see the flowers, green. After some time, it becomes yellow. After some time, it dries. And now, it can what? Be easily broken. And the wind can take it away. This is life. This is the parable. This is the example of this worldly life that you and I, my dear brothers and sisters, are living today. Now, now that you heard the example of this worldly life, here comes the question from Allah. Please get ready to answer. Allah said, So after you heard all this, now do you prefer this worldly life over the hereafter? 
you choose this one life over the hereafter? Do you want this life instead of the hereafter? Araditu bil hayati dunya min al akhirah fama mata'u al hayati dunya fi al akhirati illa qalil Allah said the enjoyment of this worldly life as compared to the hereafter is nothing but little but small it will go away it will fade this is the haqiqa of dunya this is the reality of dunya so my dear brother and my dear sister please take life easy don't put dunya in your heart but rather put dunya in your hand dunya is something that you are just a passerby you are passing through you are going listen to the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kun fi dunya ka annaka gharib aw abir sabil all of us the messenger of allah said we should be in this world like strangers or someone who is passing through because this place is not a place to what to relax this place is not a place to stay have you ever seen the spider web this is the example of dunya easily broken one day i am gone you will say subhanallah i was listening to him one day i saw him one day i will say the same i saw you one day oh i heard he pass away yes this is life this is life. You know somebody right now as I'm talking, five years ago he used to walk with you, he used to come to the masjid, right now he's in the hospital. Maybe you know. Maybe he's in his house. He cannot walk. He's on his bed. This is dunya. La shay'a yadum. Nothing lasts forever in this dunya. This is dunya. If you want to be safe in this world, then don't let dunya stay in your heart, but rather in your hand. What should be in your heart is al akhirah Darul Qarar, the everlasting home, the permanent home. Dunya is nothing. One day. We will all fade. We will all go. We will all leave one day. So my dear brothers and sisters, the reality of dunya, if you know, then you will take life easy. Because the love of dunya in our hearts as I said from the beginning of my talk, is a disease that is killing, that is hunting almost all of us. Illa man rahim Allah to tell you the love of dunya. Number one leads. It is the cause of all evil, as we said, as the hadith said, "Hubbu dunya ra'su kulli Brother, the love of dunya makes leads to a person, makes a person hates meeting Allah. Yes. Because he loves dunya, you don't want to die because you love dunya. And Allah is saying, "Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allahu liqa. Wa man kariha liqa Allah, kariha Allahu liqa. Whoever loves meeting Allah, Allah loves meeting him. And whoever hates meeting Allah, Allah also hates meeting him. What makes you hate meeting Allah? Because of the love of what? dunya you don't want to die and dying is must you are going to die i will die one day i will die one day the angel of death will knock at my door one day i will take my last breath 
one day you will take your last breath. When is it coming? Nobody knows. Maybe today, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, maybe next week, maybe next year. Only Allah knows. Here, are we going to see next Ramadan? Only Allah knows. Inna Allah indahu ilmu sa'a wa yunazzilu al-ghayf wa ya'lamu ma fil arham wa ma tadri nafsun madha taksibu ghada wa ma tadri nafsun bi ayyi ardin tamut. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Death, we will die. No doubt about it. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا لِبَشَرٍ مِّن قَبْلِكَ الْخُلْدِ أَفَيْمْ مِتَّفَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ Allah said, Ya Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallu alayhi wa sallam, I did not grant immortality to anyone before you. So if you die, are they going to stay forever? No. So the love of dunya makes a person hate death. And do you know death is a gift for a mu'min? You know? Death is a gift for the believer. The Messenger of Allah said, Tuhfatul mu'mini al mawtu. Death. Death is a gift for the believer. May Allah give us sweet death. You know the type of death when you are dying, you are happy because, listen. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَا اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا تَتَنَزَّلُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَلَّا تَخَافُوا وَلَا تَحْزَنُوا وَأَبْشِرُوا بِالْجَنَّةِ يَا اللَّهِ يَا اللَّهِ يَا اللَّهِ May Allah give us good ending just imagine this brother imagine this you are dying and the angels are telling you don't worry it's time to go but allah is waiting for you jannah is waiting for you ya allah ya allah ya allah may allah give us good ending so my dear brothers and sisters in faith hope dunya the love of this world in your heart so much you will hate to die. You don't want to die. Hubbud dunya. Hubbud dunya is the reason why so and so is committing shirk. Because hubbud dunya ra'asu kulli khati'ah. What is the greatest sin ever? What is the greatest sin? A shirk. Inna shirka la dhulmun azim. I wish I have a sister. I give you. I give her to you as a second wife. Huh? I give you another wife? Huh? <laughs> MashaAllah. Inna shirka la dhulmun? Azim. The love of dunya leads to what? Makes people what? Commit shirk. Because they want to have dunya. وَلَقَدْ أُوْحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتْ لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ Shirk is the most dangerous sin ever. So, the love of dunya leads you to committing shirk and shirk will destroy all your deeds. حُبُّ الدُّنْيَا رَأْسُ كُلِّ خَطِيئَةِ Yes. The love of dunya is the source of all evil. Why did he kill his brother? Because of dunya. He wants to take everything that belongs to his brother. Why is he envying his brother? Because of dunya. He wants to take the position that Allah gave the brother. Hubbud dunya, ra'su. The love of dunya leads to what? To enviness, jealousy, hatred. You don't like people. You don't like him because Allah blessed him. You think what Allah gave you, you're supposed to have it, not him. But can I ask you a question? Allah gave whatever he has, Allah gave it to him. Are you telling Allah, Allah doesn't know how to do his job? Subhanallah, subhanallah. Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah. 
Allah gave it to him. And now you don't want him to have it. Can you tell Allah what to do? Never. لا يسأل عما يفعل الله حب الدنيا رأس كل خطيئة and you know حب الدنيا the love of dunya makes a person doubt resurrection you know that yeah the, the love of dunya makes them doubt resurrection and سبحان الله ويقول الإنسان أإذا ما مت لسوف أخرج حيا. Listen to Allah. Allah said, the non-believer is saying, so are you telling me when I die I'm going to come back to life again? I don't believe that. Do you know why? حب الدنيا. Allah said, tell them. أولا يذكر الإنسان أن خلقناه من قبل ولم يكو شيئا يا الله. Allah said, does a man not remember that we created him in the first place while he was nothing? And now you are having doubt if Allah is going to bring. Allah said, فوربك لنحشرنهم. Allah said, I swear by your Lord, ya Muhammad, I will gather them. I will bring them together. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ فَجَمَعْنَاهُمْ جَمْعًا Allah will bring all of us together but the hope of dunya, the love of dunya makes people sometimes doubt resurrection وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقًا قَالَ مَنْ يُحْيِي الْعِظَامَ وَهِيَ رَمِيمٌ قُلْ يُحْيِيهَا الَّذِي أَنْشَأَهَا أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٌ So the love of dunya will make will cause many damages to the life of human being and at the end he will find himself in his grave while it is too late hubbud dunya ra'su kulli khati'a and brothers this thing that i'm saying hubbud dunya who is safe among us here only few but what, why, why, why are we doing this? We remind each other that we should try as much as we can to remove dunya in our heart to have dunya here. Because dunya, zahibun, zailun. It is something that will what? Will go. That will finish. And our scholars said, do you know why Allah gave example of the worldly life like the rain? Does the water stay in one place? No. Look. Allah said in Surah Al-Yunus, إِنَّمَا مَثَلُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَاءٍ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْتَلَطَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ مِمَّا يَأْكُلُ النَّاسُ وَالْأَنَامِ Go to Surah Al-Kahfi. وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَاءٍ Like a rain. Go to Surah Al-Hadid. إِلَمُ أَنَّ لعب ولحو وزينة وتفاخر بينكم وتكاثر في الأموال والأولاد كمثل غيث. Allah is giving an example of this worldly life like a rain, rain, rain. Because water doesn't stay in one place. Water keeps going. It moves, so it will go away. This is dunya. The messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said. One day, brothers and sisters in faith. The Messenger of Allah used to have a camel, a camel that is hardly beaten in a race. It's hard to be beaten. One day, a Bedouin came with a camel less than six years old, and that camel beat the camel of the Prophet Wasallam. Subhanallah. So the Sahaba was, what? Uh, when the Messenger of Allah saw them like that, he said, حَقٌ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَلَّا يَرْتَفِعَ شَيْءٌ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا وَضَعَهُ This is the sunnah of Allah. This is the law of Allah. Nothing, whatever rises up, Allah will bring it down. This is life. Look, the camel used to win. One day, one camel came from the village. 
less than six years old that camel beat the camel of the prophet and the companions the sahaba said, how come no way no camel ever beaten what no no camel ever beating that that animal what happened the messenger of allah said whatever rises up in the world allah will surely bring it down one day this is dunya one day an al qamata an abdullahi qal nama rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala hasirin thumma qama wa qad atharra ala jambi the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhanallah brother our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he slept on hasir on a mat and when he woke up on his side you see a mark of the mat la ilaha illallah and you and I today are sleeping on what? On cushy, cushy, soft mattress. With a cushy pillow. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad. They said, Ya Rasulullah, allow us to get you a soft pillow, soft bed for you to sleep in. He said, Mali. Mali. Well, in dunya. ما أنا في الدنيا إلا كراكب استظل تحت شجرة ثم راح فتركه فتركها. He said, look, the way I take this life is just like someone who went to take a shade under a tree, rest and keep going. So my dear brother, don't put the love of dunya in your heart because the love of dunya will cause you many problems. But rather, make sure the love of Allah is the greatest in your heart. The love of the Prophet Muhammad is the greatest in your heart. The love of the Quran is the greatest in your heart. The love of the deen is the greatest in your heart. Qala Allahu, qala Rasulullah, sami'na wa atta'na. Even if you don't like it, but Allah said, the Prophet said, you do it. Make sure this is what you do. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَلَا يَغُرَّنَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورُ Don't let this lordly life deceive you because it will end. It will finish. You think you are enjoying? One day it will all go away. Brother, brother, maybe right now many of us here, the doctor told us to stop eating sugar. Uh, where is the enjoyment now? Maybe doctor told you, hey, watch the sugar, watch the oil, watch the red meat. Now, where is the enjoyment? Watch the salt. Maybe your wife cooked for you now, no salt. She went to the room, you go to the kitchen and put a little salt. She doesn't see. You eat because you want some taste. And when your wife is coming, you don't want her to see that you put sugar in the food because she did not put sugar in your drink. The doctor told her not to put sugar, but you want some taste. This is where is the enjoyment 20 years ago you used to drink ice cream eat rice eat meat alhamdulillah nothing happened to you if you eat it now the ambulance will carry you to the hospital then where is the enjoyment so brother please let's all try as much as we can not to put dunya the love of dunya in our hearts but rather put the love of Allah in our heart fight shaitan shaitan wants to destroy us that's why he make us love in dunya and dunya and dunya and by the time we wake up if we are not careful we wake up and it's very late and we are in our grave and it's, very, it's too late so hubbud dunya hubbud dunya ra'su kulli khati'a remember the love of dunya is the what the source of all evil it will make you commit a lot of sin and by the time you realize the angel of death has come whenever it comes that's it so my dear brother and my dear sister i think my time is up please Let's all try as much as we can. 
to avoid the love of dunya chasing dunya does it mean you should not live no we are not saying don't live we are not saying don't walk we are not saying don't wear nice clothes we are not, uh -uh. no allah is not saying that كل من حرم زينة الله التي أخرج لعباده والطيبات من الرزق كل هي للذين آمنوا في الحياة الدنيا خالصة يوم القيامة dress nice with halal with your sweat eat good food build nice house drive nice car no problem with halal but at the same time make sure it is not in your heart you prefer hereafter better than this وابتغ فيما آتاك الله الدار الآخرة ولا تنس نصيبك من الدنيا. Take your portion. Take your portion in this world. Don't leave it. Work hard. Enjoy. Let your family enjoy. Let your children enjoy. Let your wife enjoy. Enjoy yourself in a halal way. But remember, while you are doing that, also remember that Akhira is waiting for you. We have five minutes. If I may add something a little bit, inshallah. Because this, we are talking about the disease. Now, where is the cure? How can you remove the love of dunya in your heart, from your heart? How can you remove the love of dunya from your heart? If you want to remove the love of dunya from your heart, if you are, brother, please, sometimes, visit the grave. Please, go to the graveyard. Go and visit the graveyard. كُنْتُ نَهَيْتُكُمْ عَنْ زِيَارَةِ الْكُبُورِ فَزُورُوهَا فَإِنَّهَا تُذَكِّرُكُمُ الْآخِرَةِ صدق رسول الله He said before, I forbade you from visiting the graveyard. But now go. فَإِنَّهَا تُذَكِّرُكُمُ الْآخِرَةِ For its visitation will remind you of the hereafter. When you come back, you will take life easy. Your brother that you're not talking to, when you come back from the graveyard, you will come and say, brother, forgive me. Assalamu alaikum. Because maybe tomorrow they will take me to the graveyard. Mm -mm. If you want to fight the love of dunya in your heart, always think about death. Always think about death. Before you go to bed, think about death. Think of, I think this is my last night. I do that. Please do that too. Always, my sister, always think about your last breath. If you want to remove dunya from your heart, think about death. So, if I have problem with my husband, I know what I'm doing to him is not night. nice. What if I die right now this night? What's going to happen? Think about that, inshallah, you will come and reconcile between you and your husband. If you want to remove the love of dunya in your heart, one more. Think about Jannah. Ya Allah. Wallahi, we don't have time. The time is up. And as you heard, our children are going back to school tomorrow. We don't want to hold them. We want the parents to go home. But otherwise, we talk about the na'im of Jannah. The felicity of Jannah. The beauty of Jannah. If you want to remove the love of dunya in your heart, think about the beauty of Jannah. The goodness of Jannah, the comfort of Jannah. Now, ask yourself, am I going to trade my Jannah for this thing that will finish? This is world. This is worldly life. This is Jannah. Am I going to trade my Jannah for this thing that will finish? Uh, no, you will not do that. أعددت لعبادي الصالحين ما لا عين رأت ولا أذن سمعت ولا خطر على قلب بشر الله سيدنا سيدنا السجدة فلا تعلم نفس ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين جزاء بما كانوا يعملون الله سيدنا he kept something for you in Jannah brother yeah الله سيدنا he kept something special for you in Jannah he said you can never your mind can never give you the grasp of it something beautiful and special Allah said I kept it for you in Jannah now ask yourself am I going to trade my Jannah for this worldly life that will finish what's your answer never no no the brother does not say he said what never so if you want to remove the love of dunya from your heart think about Jannah 
Another one, you want to remove the love of dunya from your heart, think about hellfire also. Yeah. Think about hellfire. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِنَا سَوْفَ نُسْلِهِمْ نَارًا كُلَّمَا نَضِجَتْ جُلُودُهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا لِيَذُوكُ الْعَذَابِ Remember, إِلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ إِلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدِ الْقَابِ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ So remember also hellfire. You know what? I will do all this and I end up in hellfire? No. With this, insha'Allah, you will see that you will start reducing the love of dunya from your heart. You start reducing the love of dunya from your heart. And insha'Allah, at the end, you will end up, when the time comes for you to die, you are happy to meet Allah. Insha'Allah. Because Allah said, Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allahu liqa. Whoever hopes and loves meeting Allah, Allah said, I want to meet him. And whoever hates meeting Allah, I also hate what? Meeting him. May Allah make us among those who love meeting Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you. May Allah protect you. Whatever I say that is correct and right is from Allah and his messenger. If there is a mistake, it's from me and shaitan. Wallahu wa rasooluhu min ubara wa a'udhu billahi an udhakirakum bihi wa ansa jazakumullahu anna wa al-islami khayra Allahumma la taj'al al-dunya akbar hammina Allahumma la taj'al al-dunya akbar hammina Ya Allah, don't make dunya something that we wish the most. Ya Allah, remove the love of dunya from our hearts. Ya Allah, put your love and the love of our prophet in our hearts. Ya Allah, we love you. We love our Prophet. Ya Allah, whenever we make mistake, Ya Allah, we pray that you forgive us and you bring us back to the right path. Ya Allah, accept us when you are pleased with us. Wa sallillahumma wa sallim wa barik. Ala abdika wa nabiyika Muhammad wa ala alihi sahabi ajma'in. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.